everyone, it's Katie McKinley from Patterns for Pirates. I'm here to give you a quick video tutorial on how to make our newest freebie pattern, which are these adorable little zipper heart pouches. They're very quick to make, take very little fabric, and use up those zippers that you may or may not have been stockpiling from Infinity Scarfs. All right, we wanna just get everything prepped and have all of our pieces and everything ready. Um, you will need two, it, you can really use scraps for all of this, but if you really need to know the size, you'll need two eight inch squares of the main piece of fabric. You need two eight inch squares of your lining fabric and you need about two eight inch squares of your um, medium to lightweight uh, interfacing. You'll need uh, an eight inch or nine inch zipper. Now, I know when we did the um, infinity scarf, a lot of people were questioning what the actual size of the zipper is. It really depends on the manufacturer and who you're purchasing it from. This, when I purchased it, was called a nine inch zipper, but if you actually do measure it, it's nine inches from on the tape and the zipper itself is only eight inches. Our pattern piece, is about seven and a half inches wide so either size will be totally fine but um i like my zippers when i'm making purses especially in little pouches to be a little bit longer than what i actually need so when i sew it the zipper pull is completely out of my way until i'm ready to close it all up so it just makes it a little bit easier for me um you're gonna want pins or clips however you like to do it uh obviously scissors to cut with and when I'm doing, especially, again, because we are making a heart shape, so the whole thing is essentially just one big curve, the best thing for trimming those uh, round edges is having um, one of these type of scissors to kind of make it a little bit easier on yourself. And then, of course, you're going to want your pattern pieces. There are three pieces. Um, everything's cut on the fold with these. So let's begin. This. I'm not going to show you all of the cutting, but I'll show you this. We fold it, we cut it. Um, we're going to cut everything on the fold, and it really doesn't matter if you fold it in one way or the other. And um, just grab your heart piece, align this with the folded edge. And I am going to brag a little bit about this new cutting mat that I have. Um, it was sent to me by uh, DIYstyle.net and it has this really cool magnetic system to it. So it's so awesome for cutting out these um, smaller pieces, especially because it kind of holds everything in for me. So you just cut around the outer edge of the back pouch and then for your other eight inch size. Of course, I put the fold in a different spot on both of these. Lock that down. Lock this one down. We're gonna go ahead and cut our pieces out. And go ahead and do that on the uh, lining piece as well as the uh, fusible, or not fusible fleece, fusible interfacing. Every one of, uh, every shape out of all three layers of the fabric that we need. So we've got a fusible interfacing, main fabric, and lining pieces for every single piece. Um, that's part of the pattern. And the next step that you're gonna wanna do is just prep your fabric for sewing and um, iron, iron down any of your pieces and also iron the interfacing to the back side of your main fabric pieces. So you're going to want to do it for the back piece, the upper front piece, and also the lower front piece. I'm going to go iron those and I'll be right back. Everything is iron on. We're going to start with our main uh, upper front piece. This is going to be face up, and I like to start with it with the curves down because, I don't know, I'm left-handed, so I always start on this side. And you're gonna place the zipper with the face down. So face up on the main upper piece of the fabric and the zipper face down. 
and we're going to align it across right on this edge right here. Um, and then we are going to sandwich that. We're gonna sandwich our zipper piece with our lining piece of our upper main fabric. So face down, right exactly where you had that. Then we'll throw a couple pins on here, clips. And we're gonna be sewing this line at one quarter of an inch. You can use a zipper foot to keep it easier. And like I said earlier, it's so nice when you have a zipper that's longer than what you actually need because it keeps the zipper pull out of the way and it's way less of a nuisance. Next, we are just going to open up our piece. So just flip it open, push this to the back, and then give this a good press and uh, optional but recommended at um, top stitch along the outer edge right here on your zipper to just help keep your fabric back away from your zipper if there's ever a problem. All right, we are top stitched and pressed and ready to attach the lower front piece on our uh, zipper. So we, if you have, let's say the point side down, but the fabric is facing up and this is your main fabric, you're gonna take the piece that you just stitched and put it face down and align the zipper edge to the side there of the tape. And once again, your fabric is up and your zipper is still facing downward towards your mat. And then you take your lining piece, align it very much the same way Add some pins or clips to keep it all in place when you go to your sewing machine. And once again, we are sewing with a one quarter inch seam allowance along the zipper edge. All right, we're all sewn. Your piece should look like this. And you're gonna do like we did in that last step and just open it up and Give it a good press and top stitch along the other side of your zipper. And now it is time to trim your zipper. So you see we've got almost a fully completed front and all you're gonna wanna do is open up your zipper pull a little bit and then trim your zipper to complete that heart shape and then um, I like to put a little pin right here or clip and I'm gonna zigzag over where it's open to hold it all together so when we go to sew, it, uh, it retains the shape that it's supposed to. And we are so close to the end, it's so fun. So we're, here's your piece that we have. We've got a tiny little stitch thrown on the side here so it holds our zipper together and um, make sure your zipper is open. That helps for turning. And all we have to do is, with the main fabric face up, we're gonna take our backside piece of our main fabric and put it face down on top of your entire shape. And then flip it over, grab your lining piece of the main, or of the backside, put it face down, and so all of our all of our fabrics are like face toward facing toward the uh, you know the same piece. So the main fabric is touching this, and the lining fabric is touching the lining piece. And all you're gonna need to do is uh, add a couple you know pin the outer edges to keep it all together while you go to sew. And we are going to sew around the entire thing through all four layers. a couple here through all four layers but we are going to leave and I usually start just a little past where my zipper ends to about here like a two to three inch opening because we're gonna need to turn it and this way we will have all of our 
all of our raw edges completely enclosed. And we're gonna sew this at a half inch seam allowance. Now, there is a zipper pull or a zipper stop here, but my, my zippers, uh, this is three quarters of an inch inside of this tape. So if we sew a half an inch, we still have more than enough room. You wanna double check that before you <laughs> accidentally try and sew through a big piece of metal, but I believe most of the zipper pulls are all, all gonna be the same. So here we go. Got the whole edge sewn, except for this about two or three inch opening. Um, so a very important step with this heart, especially because of this little point right here, is you really wanna make sure you trim uh, down almost all the way to that seam allowance. So that way when you turn it, you get the crisp, like the crispest, uh, I guess, little point that you can. And so, however you wanna do it to clip your corners, but I like to use these scissors. And again, don't go through your seam allowance, otherwise you're gonna have a big hole. But you just wanna trim all the way around. We're me cutting through some of our zipper tape on the ends there. And make sure you trim your uh, point pretty nicely as well because that's another thing that wants to be, you know, as sharp as possible. And then I kind of just uh, guide my scissors out because we wanna make sure that we still have this for when we turn and do those final stitches. So again, just cut through everything, making sure you're not clipping through your seam allowance, but it'll make for a nicer turn. So now that we have that, our next step is just to turn this inside out or right side out maybe. So you're gonna wanna turn it, so the main fabric, we're gonna go through the main fabrics piece. And it's as simple as just kind of birthing it through and turning it into a heart. It's sometimes easier if you open that zipper up. And so you're gonna wanna push out all of your edges. So here's our round bits at the top. And you see how this has turned out to be a lot crisper. If you didn't trim that down, it would be this weird lumpy, like kind of tugging at the fabric. So that's a super important piece of getting these to look nice. And I don't have my edge turner, but so we're all the way to this point. It's almost all the way finished. And do you notice when we've turned it, you could practically put this inside out because all of our seams are completely encased. And so that's the last step that we're gonna do is close up the hole that you just turned through. It's um, the easiest way that I have found to do it is we wanna get all three of, of the fabrics. Well, there are four layers here, right? So we wanna take three of those layers and act like they're one, and then the other layer is, is like a separate one. So when you tuck these in and we go to close up this hole, we are still completely encasing these seams inside of it. So you have a very seamless, um, you know, you don't have any edges that can fray. It keeps it really pretty and it's pretty awesome. So when you close that up, you have a couple of options. You can hand stitch it close with a blind stitch. You can um, edge stitch this whole outer edge so you're kind of top stitching and it kind of, um, you know, some people really like a, a neatly finished top stitch. Or to be honest with you, I just, because it's such a small opening and my, fab and my threads blend so well, I literally just do a quick um, edge stitch just in the opening space and I still think it looks really nice. So it's up to you but I'll go do that real quick. See, like I said, you can't even barely see that I have uh, that stitched close on it. But again, if you want a proper closing, you can top stitch the whole thing or you can hand stitch or like blind stitch it close by hand. It's a small opening. So if you do it blind stitch, it's a really quick process too. But <clears throat> otherwise you're done. And I'll show you again. You see the whole inside does not have any raw edges and the entire outside does not have any raw edges either. So it's like this clean, cute little pouch that you can put just about anything in. 
put it in your purse with, I don't know, I use mine, any pouches in my purse as like gum holders, so I don't have any escaping gum or candy. And um, you can use it for, I, I mean, literally anything. This guy's a lemon. But now you have a cute little pouch. I hope you enjoyed this, and um, I'm excited to see what you guys make.